Hi guys, welcome back to our channel and today in this video we are going to balance this equation. On reactant side we have iron and oxygen atoms and on product side we have iron oxide. So to balance this equation we are first going to count the number of atoms on both the sides and try and balance it. So on reactant side we have one iron atom and there are two oxygen atoms. Whereas on the product side we have two iron atoms and three oxygen atoms. Now we are going to uh, try and make this number even because it is easier to balance out equations in which there are even number of atoms on both the sides. So for doing that I am going to put a coefficient 2 over here. So now what happens is we have 6 oxygen atoms over here because 3 into 2 is 6 and we have 2 into 2 4 iron atoms over here. So we have this on product side. Now we have to update our reactant side as well. So as there are 4 iron atoms on the product side, it means that there are 4 atoms on the reactant side as well. So I am going to put a coefficient 4 over here. So now I have 4 Fe and as you can see here that there is only there are only 2 oxygen atoms. I am going to put a 3 over here. So now I have 4 atoms of iron on both reactant and product side and 6 atoms of oxygen on both the sides. And this is how you balance the equation. Remember every time you come across an equation in which there is um, an atom which has odd number of uh, come across an element that has odd number of atoms try to even it out by adding coefficients by multiplying it with coefficients and it will make it easier for you to balance an equation and always remember to count all numbers of atoms on both the sides and i hope this video helps you to understand on balancing equations in to balance the equations quickly for more such videos on lowest structure molecular geometry polarity hybridization of the molecule Make sure to subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.